Hey everyone, it's Josie Marie and thank you for watching. Right now I am in Columbus, Ohio. I'm still living the nomad life, but I'm spending a little time here with family before I go to my next location. So in this video, we'll take a tour around the Airbnb that I booked here in Columbus. Uh, we'll go out for brunch with one of my girlfriends. We'll go to some African parties and we'll do a little bit of cooking, okay? If you're new to my channel, welcome. At this moment, I'm just kind of experiencing the nomad life. I don't live in a particular state, so I'm kind of floating around. And I'm so grateful that you guys have joined me on this journey. You'll see that I'm only here in Columbus for a few days before I head to Washington, DC. But with that said and done, let's get into the video. After a few days visiting my family, I stepped out Found a karaoke night. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like got something to say, but nothing comes out with Google Lips. It's a bunch of gibberish. I'm on the fuck exactly. I forgot about And checked into an Airbnb for the week before I continued my nomadic adventure. Let's make a quick cup of coffee and let's dig into this quick tour of the apartment that I stayed in in downtown Columbus. I booked a cozy one bedroom apartment. It was very minimalistically decorated and kind of rustic very close to where I used to live. Uh, they also have some plates, glasses. The coffee cups are all the way there and I'm short. I am five foot three, 25. Getting up there is <laughs> was a challenge even to get my coffee cup for this morning. The kitchen was well equipped with everything that I needed to cook, which is what I was looking for. The living room is a little small, but it's just me, so I didn't need much. Off we go to the bathroom with a stand-up shower and I've gotta say the water pressure was pretty nice here. I loved the community room that they had on the second floor and I did not get a moment to work from here. I was just so busy during the day. I stayed in the apartment, but it was nice to know that I had the option and they also have an outdoor patio. One thing that I required out of the Airbnbs that I stay in is a gym and I'm so excited to have gotten a chance to work out because as I was traveling, I was really, really falling off my game. I found the gym. Wow, it's been so long since I worked out and I'm so excited to be in here. Hi. Got my big old bottle of water. Wow. Guys, I'm so out of shape right now. So seeing all of this equipment is exciting to me. <sighs> All right, let me get this workout in before I start working. One of the best things about booking a place that has a gym is that you're actually motivated to go to the gym every day. Because if you don't, it'll be like you wasted your money paying a little bit extra for the gym. So, kind of makes you go. Hey guys, taking a quick work break. I'm set up over there. Let me actually show you guys my setup. <laughs> back there. I'm taking a quick break to show you guys what I ordered from Instacart. One of the things that I love about being in my own space is having control over like what I'm eating. And since I checked into this Airbnb, one of the things that I did right away, actually this morning is order Instacart um, so that I can make the food that I usually like to eat. Like I said, I ordered all this stuff from Instacart. I've been traveling, as you guys know, just hopping from one place to another. So sometimes you kind of get lost in like what you're eating and you're just eating what's available and not being very intentional. So I just wanted to get back to my zone. So I got some salmon. I actually got two of these. I put one in the fridge already. So I have a salad. I have the salmon that I already put in the fridge, some salad dressing, which is like my favorite. And I have some Granny Smith apples. I would eat this by itself or add it to my salad. I also have some celery because I need to detox. Um, and this has a lot of antioxidants in it. So I will just finally chop it and add it to my salad or just eat it by itself as a snack. I got some strawberries. Very juicy looking, I love it. And I have some egg whites for breakfast. I, well, I don't usually eat breakfast at breakfast. I eat breakfast during like lunch, so I'm a brunch person. So I'm gonna put this to the side because I will be making some of that. This little kitchen is kind of, it's so small. You don't have a lot of counter space, but it'll do. I have some stir fry, 
just some mixed vegetables really and I have three onions which I don't know what I'll do with that yet but onions are always like good to have in the stash I have some grapes I got some nuts to snack on I have some olive oil and some seasoning <laughs> I don't like bland food sorry I have some tomatoes that I will add to my salad. I actually just brought this from my suitcase. I <laughs> I bought this hot sauce when I was at my sister's house, so I, I'm going to be traveling with this because y'all, a girl needs her hot sauce. And I have some tea. This is peppermint tea and honey chamomile, honey vanilla chamomile tea, so. I'll be having that throughout the day. I also got these two bottles of water. Um, hydration is key. I'm probably gonna finish one in like a day and a half and I'm here for three nights, so yeah. But yeah, that's my little Instacart order that I have. Again, like I think one of the most important things that I've found in this being a nomad process is to find the things that you have enjoyed doing um, or that keep you sane. <laughs> um, like eating healthy, finding a place that has a gym, um, and maintaining that because not having that for the past like two weeks has really taken a toll on me. So I'm just trying to get back into my groove and I'm looking to maintain this wherever I go. So I'll be in Washington DC next week. So I'm gonna make sure I'm packing my hot sauce, okay? Uh, <laughs> and I'm probably taking some of the seasonings that I have so that when I book a place, I'll make sure that they have a kitchen so I can be in control of like what I'm eating um, and make sure that they have a gym as well so that I can maintain my routine. Anyway, I've gotta go, I've got work to do and I'm hungry. So I'll talk to you later. I've just put some olive oil on this pan. And for the salmon, I just seasoned it with salt and pepper and the adobo seasoning. Very simple stuff. And I'm going to pan fry it. Just wanna make sure that I get seasoning all over. I had ordered some garlic paste, but I guess they ran out. So no garlic, but I'm just gonna place this here. So we can start cooking. For my egg whites, I'm also just gonna put a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna put the egg whites in there and I'm just gonna scramble it with salt and pepper. I like my salmon cooked medium. So, I'm probably gonna have this sit for maybe two and a half, three more minutes, and then I'll turn it off. I'll cover it so that the steam can continue cooking it through, and then I'll be good to go. So I already have my salad portioned out. Put some egg whites on the side. Salmon's ready, so I'm just gonna take one piece. This is my absolute favorite dressing, like ever, 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 ever. <laughs> if you love me, you'll buy me this, okay? <laughs> just shake it up and I don't have time to do anything extra with the salad, like add all the other stuff. So this will have to do. I'm gonna add some hot sauce somewhere over here. And that's it. Breakfast, brunch is served. That is a perfect cook on that salmon. Look at that. I mean, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I don't like it when salmon is like super dry. This is probably a little overcooked for what I like, but it's really delicious.
it's midnight and I just got ready to step out with some friends here in Columbus. Where am I going? No idea. I was working all day, did my hair. Let me know if you want the details. And now I'm going out. And I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going for the ride. <laughs> Good morning, or actually good afternoon. <laughs> I'm about to step out for brunch with my friend Josie. This was an impromptu brunch date. We were just talking this morning. We we're like, we haven't seen each other for so long and we're about to leave already. So, and she's about to leave as well. So we decided to brunch together. It's turning out to be a busy weekend. No, I didn't have plans last night. Didn't have plans for today, but it's happening. I'm with Josie finally. Woo Josie Square. <laughs> And we're going to brunch to, where are we going? The Pearl. Pearl in Dublin. In Dublin. I've never been there, but we've been to the Pearl in Short North. And they have good oysters, and that is on the menu today. Did you eat anything today? Uh, I had a Danish from Starbucks, but if you ever go see the Pearl, my recommendations are always the chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles. Or the shrimp and grits. Sounds good. Yeah, and the oysters. And the oysters. I had like scrambled eggs and some veggies from last night because I was starving. So probably doing something light today in case I go to the Ghanaian wedding. Cause you know they had the jollof rice. Yeah, sis, I would just hold my entire appetite. <laughs> oysters have to happen. But I'm so happy to be here and like see Josie. There, Columbus is okay for me. It's not like the best place for me, but. What makes a place great is the people, and she's definitely one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see why, right? She's crazy. <laughs> Please. When you get a moment. Thank you. The main event. Okay. Spicy is for me. That's for me. This one is gone. I love spicy. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Without the hot sauce to see how I like it. Bon appetit. Brunch is here, so we ordered. This is so nice of them to have split it because we ordered the egg, the omelette dish, but we wanted to split it, and so they did it for us. Isn't that so nice? And deviled eggs. What's happening there? I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> and some fruit. Let's dig in. I'm sorry with my deviled eggs first. Brunch was delicious. Quick bathroom shot before we leave. <laughs> Come on, don't judge me. A lot of girls do the same exact thing. I highly recommend The Pearl, both in Short North and here in Dublin. Their service is always great. Their food is good. I mean, if you love oysters, you wanna go there. I really love the vibe. For my last night in Columbus, I went to a Ghanaian wedding reception. <laughs> This wedding venue was so beautiful. The views right outside capturing the city and the water was just so nice. If I was to ever get married in Columbus, this would be my place. Good morning. I am checking out of this Airbnb. 
in downtown Columbus. This is a pretty comfortable spot to stay in. Every time I'm like in the morning when I'm ready to like check out of a place, I always feel like, oh, here we go again. So again, I don't know if the nomad thing is for me, but it's all an exper experience and an experiment. But um, I'm always like, yeah, oh, another checkout. But then when I get into a new place, I'm like, yay, a new experience. So interesting having to juggle those two emotions all the time. Have to catch this flight. I'm flying with United and it's a direct flight from Columbus to Washington DC. It is Sunday, so I'm kind of gonna take it easy when I get there, set up for work. Thank you so much for tagging along while I was in Columbus, Ohio. Now we're in Washington DC and I can't wait to show you guys all that went down. Remember to subscribe and comment and follow me on Instagram so that we can keep in touch. Until next time, I'm Josie Marie.